Hi, this is Kerry Artak with Wicked Stocks, bringing you another video analysis, this one on Cigna Corporation, symbol CI. You're looking at a monthly bar chart of Cigna. This video was recorded Sunday, May 23rd, 2021. Uh, if you're not entirely familiar with Cigna, uh, just know that they're an American multinational managed healthcare and insurance company based in Bloomfield, Connecticut. Insurance subsidiaries are major providers of medical, dental, disability, life and accidental insurance and related products and services. They're one of the larger uh, providers of uh, health insurance in the company in the country. Sorry, Wicked Stocks offers two forms of membership, free and premium. Free membership is exactly as it sounds. For no cost or obligation, you will receive one free stock video analysis a week, typically released on Mondays. And if you provide your name and email address, you'll receive an email from us each and every time a new free weekly video is ready for viewing. The second form of membership is premium and provides at least two stock videos every week and costs $24.95 a month. Just click on the premium membership link, fill out your payment information through our safe gateway portal, and you'll receive an email each and every time a new premium video is ready for viewing. Cancellation is allowed at any time. Um, anyway, it's not so much the fundamentals that I like to talk about, but of course, the technicals. You're looking at a chart now, this, the monthly chart, and kind of the rotational highs and lows over the last, I don't know, 15 years or so, the 2007 high of 57.61, uh, down to $8 a share in 2008, and then all the way to an all-time high, most recently May of this year, a 272.81. Now, uh, there is an important channel structure that I have to show you. I'm going to convert this chart to a weekly chart and open it up into the area from about 2006 on. And you can see there's a channel structure. The market is testing. It's actually pushed through, even settled above, but not settled above by the 1% margin that I like to see. If I can zoom in enough, you'll see that every one of those settlements above that channel top over the last few weeks was inside the 1% violation threshold. That doesn't mean that the stock is destined to fall back now it's just hesitating and the clear buy signal would be a settlement this week the week of monday may 24th above not only 261.59 but a one percent violation of that number which is actually 264.20 this week, the week of Monday, May 24th. And you can see how this rising channel top changes over time. I'm giving you two sets of numbers, four weeks apart, May 24th, 261.59, June 21st, 262.39. Those are weeks of, those are Monday dates. You can subtract them out, divide by four, and you can ascertain the exact location of that channel top all the way through the rest of the year. And if we do close above this formation by at least a 1% margin, as I showed you earlier, then I think we've got longer-term bullish continuation. I'm going to show you here um, that the 390s wouldn't surprise me over the next full year, year and a half, two years at the most of trade. If you take a look at this chart, that low that goes back about a year, that spike low, that was the COVID low. That was 13 months ago. And so that exact same width of that move, uh, if you just add it to where we presently are, takes you into the 390s, the full channel extension as a targeting mechanism. They work quite well with well-defined channel structures as this one is. Um, and so if we do close above 261.59 at the end of this week, by that 1% margin of 264.20 or higher, longer term bullish continuation. Uh, I'm gonna open this chart up to show you an area where this uh, market could certainly hesitate. And if you don't get long by the settlement above that 261.59 long term resistance area, then you could consider getting long with a settlement above this channel top. Now this channel top is respectable in its own right, but it doesn't have the signaling capability, I think, is that longer term one at 261.59 this week. So closing above 261.59 by the 1% margin should actually yield the 280s here over the next few weeks, where we actually might top out on a monthly basis and fall back into the low 260s again within several weeks. And then, of course, closing above this 282.72 channel top, which I give you the numbers that you can ascertain them all the way into later year. If we close above that formation, there's very little doubt in my mind that this market will continue onward and upward into the 390s, as I showed earlier, over the coming year or two at the most. Now, downside, if the market has trouble 
closing above this 261.59 channel structure by the 1% margin and actually closes back below it at the end of this week. The stock has, a, I would call it a susceptibility over the next several months to falling back into the 220s. You can see shelf top high here, 224.50 to 227.50, that if tested, say, between now and the end of the third quarter, can certainly contain selling through the rest of the year and possibly well into next. In fact, there's a valid buy signal that took place above that shelf top series of highs uh, a couple of months ago. But right now we're testing, I think it's a more significant resistance area. This channel structure, as you can see on this chart, goes back over 10 years. And um, uh, closing above it by 1% at the end of any week is a meaningful buy signal event that should play out through the rest of the year. Until then, we can have trouble here and fall back into the 220s uh, over the next several months. I think that's really all that needs to be said for this particular Wicked Stocks video on Cigna Corporation.